You are listening to the Cellulite Site Podcast, episode number 21, Cellulase, an invasive approach to cellulite treatment. Does it really work or could it do more harm than good? Welcome to the Cellulite Site, where we meet cellulite challenges with care, confidence, commitment, community, compassion, concern, consistency, and courage. And now your host, Bree Cox Kennedy. Hello, my beautiful friends. Welcome back to another empowering podcast. All right, friends. Today's podcast might stir up some strong feelings among our cellulase supporters, but hey, don't shoot the messenger. (laughs) My job here is to present the findings. I'm simply relaying and providing you with the information you need to make your own informed decisions. For those of you who don't know, I also host a local morning TV show, and in both that role and this one, I try to make it a point to keep my personal opinions out of the mix and just stick to the facts. So as we dive into the pros and the cons and the reality behind cellulase, or whether cellulase is your cellulite savior or smooth talking menace, I'm here to give you the lowdown. No bias, just the facts. You decide whether it's a hit or a miss. Cellulase was introduced into the U.S. market in 2011. It received FDA approval in the same year, marking its entry as a specialized laser treatment for cellulite. As treatment providers and women alike continue their quest for a permanent solution to reduce or remove cellulite, Cellulase has emerged as a technology that goes beyond surface-level treatments by targeting the structural causes beneath the skin. We've talked about this in many podcasts before. You guys should know what it's called by heart by now. We'll get into that in a little bit. But does it deliver on these promises, or is there potential for it to cause more harm than good? So let's explore the specifics. What is cellulase? Well, cellulase is a laser treatment specifically designed to target and reduce cellulite. Unlike traditional topical treatments or non-invasive procedures that we've talked about on my podcast, cellulase involves an invasion below the skin's surface, categorizing it as more invasive than purely topical or the non-invasive treatments that we've talked about, such as acoustic wave therapy, Venus Legacy, Onda Cool Waves, Sigma Body so on and so forth. Cellulase is considered a minimally invasive procedure rather than a full surgical operation. Although it involves going beneath the skin with a laser fiber, it does not require major incisions or extensive surgical techniques. The process involves small incisions in the skin through which the laser fiber is inserted through a cannula to target and treat the underlying causes of cellulite. The laser heats and cuts down the fibrous bands known as the fibrous septi, which are the connective tissue structures that pull the skin down and create the dimpled appearance of cellulite. Simultaneously, it melts the fat pockets trapped between the fibrous septi, smoothing out the skin's surface, allegedly. Additionally, the laser stimulates collagen production, which is said to improve the thickness and elasticity of the skin, making more resilient and firm. Essentially, cellulase is designed to address the three main structural issues associated with cellulite. In a nutshell, those are releasing the fibrous septae, melting the fat pockets, and enhancing skin thickness and elasticity. So what is its effectiveness in reducing cellulite? The key advantage or disadvantage, depending on the outcome of cellulase, is its approach. It targets the underlying structure of the cellulite rather than just the skin's surface. It's claimed that this method offers a more permanent solution than many other treatments. Patients have witnessed smoother, firmer skin with improved texture. However, it's important to note that cellulase is not a miracle cure. Results may vary depending on factors such as skin type, severity of cellulite, and the body's response to the laser. While many patients are satisfied with their outcomes, some report only modest improvements to severe irregularities. 
So what are the risks and the potential for permanent damage? As with any invasive procedure, there are risks. While cellulase is generally considered safe, and I say that with hesitation, and you will find out why if you stay with me in this podcast. Side effects such as swelling, bruising, and numbness are common. In reported cases, patients may experience permanent scarring, nerve damage, or uneven skin texture. Since the laser operates beneath the skin, there's a possibility of damaging surrounding tissues. Although these instances are rare, they're very important factors to consider when evaluating cellulase as a treatment option. It's essential for patients to understand that while cellulase can reduce the appearance of cellulite, there are significant risks to consider. Risks that some patients feel are not always fully explained by their doctors. One of the most important factors to be aware of is its potential impact of weight gain after the procedure. According to many reviews online, some patients find that their cellulite can actually look worse if they gain weight following the treatment. And of course, you know, as we age, maintaining a steady weight can become increasingly difficult, especially without a highly active lifestyle. The weight gain can cause the remaining fat cells to expand and settle unevenly in areas where the fibrous bands were cut leading to a potentially more uneven appearance than before. While some doctors claim that cutting the fibrous bands should prevent cellulite from returning, the reality is that weight fluctuations, skin aging, and changes in the body composition can still affect the results. Therefore, it's crucial to maintain realistic expectations and understand that long-term results may vary. However, according to Dr. Pittman, a Washington, D.C.-based plastic surgeon. The challenge with cellulase is that you need to hit those little rubber band-sized fibrous bands right on target with the energy, or else the band won't be cut effectively and dimples will still be visible. Many surgeons I know like cellulase better than Selfina, says Dr. Pittman, but they're not going crazy over the results. In my next podcast, I'll be focused on Selfina another innovative and minimally invasive cellulite treatment. To make it easier for listeners who want to learn more, I'll add a link to the Selfina podcast at the end of this episode so you can seamlessly continue exploring your options for cellulite reduction. How many sessions are required to see results with cellulase? Well, one of the appealing aspects of cellulase is that it typically requires only a single treatment. However, patience is key Results may take three to six months to fully materialize as the body heals and new collagen forms. For some patients, a follow-up session may be needed if the desired results are not achieved initially. So what are the online reviews indicating? Well, online reviews for cellulase are mixed. They lean more generally on the positive, with many patients re reporting significant improvements in their skin's appearance. Satisfied customers praise the treatment for providing long-lasting results and a noticeable reduction in cellulite. Overall, the results are 83% positive on real self. I'm not sure how they calculate those results, though, as that is based on just six reviews, when there are actually 169 reviews that seem unaccounted for. We'll put that aside. <laughs> so that said, there are also reviews that report Unfortunately, just the opposite. Some patients have experienced minimal improvement, feeling that the results just didn't justify the high cost and long recovery time. Others express frustration with uneven skin or lingering side effects like numbness. As with any treatment, individual experiences will vary, so it's essential to manage expectations. However, the complaints on real self indicate some serious concerns with reports of severe negative mental and physical reactions to cellulase from certain women. It's challenging to ascertain whether the issues stem from the qualifications of the physicians who perform the treatments. This variability in results might be linked to differences in physician expertise and technique which could explain why some doctors achieve excellent outcomes while others do not. 
According to the Real Self article, Dr. Rigo J. Mendoza, a board-certified plastic surgeon in Brandon, Florida, cautions that nerve irritation or hypersensitivity can last from weeks to months, sometimes even up to a year. In inexperienced hands, cellulase can also leave lumps and contour irregularities. One of the most common complaints is that the entry scars were still visible even years after the treatment. However, according to some reviews, if that were the only complaint, I think some would overlook it. Here's what one woman had to say, which reiterates the statement made by Dr. Mendoza. She goes on to state, Cellulase does not work. It has made me more self-conscious and has caused more dimpling and irregularities than before I had the treatment. My legs are a total disaster and it's only getting worse as the swelling is diminishing. I am so embarrassed I don't know where to turn to or who to trust or what to do. Just hide until I die, I guess. Wow, that's, that's really sad. The before and after photos are a strong indication that there is definitely more irregularities and more lumps and bumps four months post-op than before the procedure. That seems interesting as conditions are supposed to improve over time. This review was written quite a few years ago and there's not a recent update, but the patient went on to answer a question posted by a viewer. She goes on to say, this is me before, when I thought I had cellulite. As you can see, I didn't really develop a problem until after the procedure. Would you believe that my doctor gave these excuses in this order? Number one, I caused the lumps and bumps to appear by riding on an ATV. In parentheses, she writes, and that was three months after the procedure when I was completely cleared from needing to wear the compression garment that I wore religiously for six weeks. And number two, the doctor goes on to tell her, I've lost weight, meaning the woman. So I guess she's, she's writing it in first person. So she, she says, I've lost weight. And if I would gain weight, the lumps would disappear. Okay, that one kind of makes my head spin. <laughs> I told you I was unbiased, but wow. Okay, that doesn't make any sense. I digress. Okay, and third, he proceeds to tell her that she should have been working out. She goes on to say, I wonder if he knows how painful the procedure is. And after four months, I can just now start to put weight on my knees in yoga or Pilates. She continues to write, I'm also told that, quote unquote, the paint is still drying or, quote unquote, the cake is still baking and that I need to be patient to allow the procedure to work. So if this is the case and I'm completely overreacting, I will post photos in another month if there's improvement. Well, sadly, there's no further conversation or photos posted, so I'm not sure what happened. Um, but she did post the before and immediately after photos, which I will add to our blog if you'd like to take a look. I will also add a link to the Real Self website if you'd like to read those reviews. Friends, the reason I've created the Cellulite site and dedicate my time to sharing this information is because it's my goal and passion to empower you with the knowledge that you need. Many women struggle with self-confidence due to cellulite, and hearing stories of distress and disappointment is truly heartbreaking. You shouldn't have to navigate a roller coaster of emotions, despair, excitement, frustration, and embarrassment when seeking solutions. My mission is to provide you with clear, reliable information to help you make informed decisions and regain your confidence. Whether you choose to self-treat with at-home or holistic methods, or you're considering a non-invasive or minimally invasive option, my aim is to ensure that you're mentally equipped to make informed decisions. By understanding the full spectrum of treatments, you'll be confident in choosing what's right for your body and lifestyle driven by facts and not just trends. If you do have cellulite that bothers you, and I assume that you do since you're listening to this podcast, and you would like to begin a treatment regimen that isn't going to cost you thousands of dollars, leave you with a lot of downtime and seems like a lot of uncertainty, please check out the cellulite circuit. You can get started today for a few dollars in the privacy in, of your own home. 
I'll add a link to the description if you want to check that out. So my friends, the takeaway here is quite simple. When it comes to cellulite, this isn't the time to shop around for discounts or deals. Stay away from the Groupons, ladies. Our health and the quality of your results are at stake. So it's crucial to prioritize expertise over price for the best possible outcome and to avoid potential complications. Make sure to trust only a board-certified dermatologist or plastic surgeon with experience in performing this procedure. The doctor's expertise and experience play a crucial role in determining the appropriate depth for laser insertion. Skilled practitioners use their knowledge of anatomy and the specific characteristics of the cellulite to guide the laser accurately. Take the time to study reviews and find a provider who is not only highly referenced, but also has a proven track record of delivering successful results. Investing in a qualified professional can make all the difference in ensuring a safer process and more satisfying outcome. So if you've enjoyed this episode, my friends, please consider sharing it with a friend of yours. And if you have a moment to leave a rating and a review, it really helps. Don't forget to explore other episodes on my podcast available on Spotify, Amazon, Apple, and YouTube. Also, my friends, I would love to hear from you. If there's a topic that you'd like me to research and podcast and blog about, please drop me a comment and let's keep the conversation going. Remember, my friends, empower your journey one day at a time. I love you and I'll see you next week. Thank you for tuning into the Cellulite site. We appreciate you being part of our community dedicated to exploring and sharing insights on cellulite health. Connecting with confident women like you is what makes this journey so fulfilling. Our mission is to simplify your path to progress and spare you from months of uncertainty. If you're ready to take your journey to the next level, visit thecellulitesite.com to grab your cellulite circuit checklist. Embark on your transformative journey today and in the coming weeks, witness firsthand how these concepts can make a positive impact. Remember, it's not just about absorbing information intellectually, it's about committing to the work and celebrating the results. A quick reminder, the content shared is based on personal experiences and perspectives and is not medical advice.